Okay, I ended up putting a pencil mark along here, okay? You see that mark right along there? That's, imagine, that's your water flow. That's like, that could be considered a valley right there, okay? Here's where your water's flowing from here, kaboom, and then from there, kaboom. In fact, I think I might, uh, yeah, I think I might want to go just a little, just a little further on that one. Not, not too much, but. or anything I'm just deciding what exactly I want to do okay just like that that's where that's where I'm gonna float I'm gonna float from there up eighth of an inch down to nothing or three sixteenths even I, I got to measure from this end to make sure before I do anything um, I've got two what was it two and three eighths I have to have two and three eighths I've got the tile is an it is an inch and seven eighths and that plastic stuff is a half an inch that's two and three eighths of an inch so I measure and I've got two and five eighths Ah, let's see what we got. Here. In that corner, two and five eighths. Okay, so so I can raise it up. I can raise it up at least an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths. And it will be under two and a half. See right here, I've got two and a half inches right there and I need two and three eighths so this is going down to nothing and then sloping down and in the corner let's see what I got here in the corner all this stuff yeah you gotta you gotta measure and stuff figure things out I got two and a long five eighths at that point right there Two and three quarters back there. Okay, so I can I can bump the uh, the rock hard water putty a little bit higher than this edge if I want, and then taper that down to nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And down over here. Uh, I should have plenty of room here. I, I've not checked it, but I probably should check it, huh? I thought I had checked it earlier before I even started chiseling. Wow. I got two and five eighths. So, geez, that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. I took out the flashing here and I chiseled this down because had I not done that and uh, I would have had a hard time fishing my my uh, tile in there yeah because I had to chisel that off and then you have the two pieces of flashing and so that bumps this up you know just a little bit and then and and then uh, I float down so Wow, I'm glad I, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I chiseled that. Here, I got two and five eighths. So see, I'm tapering down to nothing, so two and five eighths is fine. And over, over at this other end, I think I, I already measured it with you before, but we'll measure it again just for 
ducks. I think it was, I think it was two and two and a half or something. Yeah, I got two and a half right there. So see, I need two and three eighths, and in a sense, uh, this corner that means that means this is only sloping uh, an eighth of an inch. I got two and five eighths there. And two and a half there. So, actually, that piece wasn't level either, was it? The stucco mold was off. So I think I have, I think I have pl plenty of flow here. Raise this side up. I don't really have that much. Raise that up just uh, an eighth of an inch. See this here is up a little bit. So if anything, I could I could take a little bit of my of my uh, water putty and raise this ever so slightly, you know. And I might I might want to do that like an eighth of an inch that'll give me a little bit more slope here and so see this one might might have to might have to do something like that something like that can raise that an eighth of an inch. Wow. I think I'll do that. That'll give me a little bit more slope because I want to encourage the water to come this way. And yeah, it, it should come anyways, but you know what? I'd rather have a little bit extra slope than, than a questionable amount because this this here slopes that direction, okay? So when it, when it gets, when the water gets to here, if the water were to come straight, mind you, and if the water hit this point, it's gonna then start trickling down this way, away from that inside corner, okay? And then, man, that angle is almost the same as that. Look at that. And then the water's going to come out there, and then it's going to spill out. All right. Wow, I'm I'm glad I'm talking this through because sometimes that's what you have to do in order to figure things out on what you're going to do. Okay. And maybe I'll write eight one eighth inch. That's. I know that's flush. This is eighth inch up there. This is eight. Man, it's all it's all eighth inch up in the up probably about here. When I'm holding the camera, sometimes I'm I'm not holding it up high enough. Okay. That's good. That's good. And, and see, we got we got plenty of slope there. I'm lifting up. In two feet, I got at least five sixteenths of an inch, maybe three eighths from from that edge, right there. See where the bubble is? I gotta lift it up. So that's good. Okay, but I'm only gonna slope it from there to probably in here somewhere. Okay. And, uh, I think we already. I already did this. See the bubble? I gotta raise the left hand side up. Three sixteenths to a quarter. 
in order to get the bubble. And then this, this, this should be sloping down to the left. I've got to, I've got to lift up the right hand side. See? Wow, about three eighths of an inch. That's good. That's real good. I've got plenty of water flow. Do you see? See how all this is coming together? It took me when I was framing this. And I hopefully you saw that that video where I was putting the ledger board up, and I put that one up, and then I I measured over here off of the columns. I got my my uh, joist here, and before I, I filled this this area in over here, I really had to figure out the slope on what what I wanted. Hey, it's whatever you want. You're the boss, okay? All right, enough time to start mixing up the water putty. Durham's rock hard water putty. That's the stuff you want to use.